Gucci, man. We are in the building with Clarity Zone, man, P. Dolo. And we got we got a lot to talk about, man. So first, I want to... I've been waiting to get into this, man, the actual... But I'm going to cut the music all the way down. I've been waiting to ask you about the Dolo Mentory, man. That thing was dope. Um, about like 40 minutes long. You just took us man, through Clarity. Appreciate Definitely, you know what I mean? You like took them there like but like for me i mean i'm not from pittsburgh and uh i never been to clarendon but definitely took me through the hood and showed me a lot about clarendon man what made you want to do that documentary well yeah first of all like a lot of people that i deal with are are, are that i'm uh that i talk to they always tell me like uh my image and and, and the person who i am you feel me and so Sell a lot, you feel me? I'm like, I got, I got good. Right, I'm, a, I'm a good dude, funny, you feel me? So yeah, I, I was trying to start letting the people get in touch with who I am, or you feel me? Before they hear my music, a lot of people deal with my music, but they they rock with me more than that, more right, than my right. music, deeper than that. You yeah. Feel me? So a lot of people that just know me from music or know me from a social site or whatever don't really know who I am or where I'm from or yeah, don't even that. know where Clarence is or nothing about Clarence. So when we when we uh, initially did the 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 uh, documentary, yeah, we was it was supposed to be a three part uh, documentary. You feel me? But yeah. I I ain't been on, on the scene for so long. I just said you know we gonna give them everything. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, because it was supposed to be a three part, you know, the part where I had the, uh, the, uh, that's down high field. That was one part, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for, yeah. for, at least to me, it wasn't enough. So I'm like, man, you know what? I know when I watch documentaries, I like to see what's going on and see what, what type of person the, the, the artist or whoever is. Yeah. And they'll be long enough for me. You feel me? I sit there, I watch them. Minutes. Yeah, I'm watching 10 minutes. I'm wishing, like, they should have gave me a little bit more. I, I wish it was a little bit more. So I'm like, Blue Lens, shout out to Blue Lens. Yeah, he's the I'm one who found it. And he, uh, he was on something. Man, we need to break it down in three parts. And I told him, I say, Blue, ah. <laughs> let's just give him everything, man. Let's just give him everything. No doubt, so man. So shout out to Blue for that. No doubt, man. It was it was definitely, man, a dope interview, man. If you guys haven't checked it out, you can go on YouTube and find it. Uh, just type in, what, Dolo Mentory? Type or in Dolo Mentory. Dolo Mentory, and it'll, it'll definitely pop up. Like you said, y'all pulled up at Heinz Field. It was uh, Clarendon versus somebody. Was that a playoff game? No, that was the championship. That was the championship. Yeah, yeah the, they, uh, they won the championship 40 40 yeah, that, was the whip you. that was the whip you against uh, Jeanette. Yeah. Right against Jeanette. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't take the camera inside the uh, Yeah, you got game, it. But I wish, I wish we could have. The way we got could've. iPhone and stuff, now you can re record the whole game off of, you know what I mean? You yeah, can edit, you, yeah. You could have got some footage off that way, but yeah, it was still a dope experience, you know what I mean? You got to see the people of Clarity. I, I like that because like, where I'm from in Michigan, football is big, you know what I mean? My homeboy, uh, Lamar Woodley, like, we was coming up, all our games was packed, you know what I mean? They had D1 scouts, you know what I mean, off the wazoo, so it was packed. Like, I'm used to that. I, I got that feel when I was watching y'all, like, y'all tailgated, the whole community, you know what I mean? The clarity was out supporting the squad, so that definitely took me back to, like, being at the crib as far as, you know what I mean, y'all coming out supporting the home team. And like sure. you said, you always support all the young cats. And they sure. endeavors with football and the, the little, what y'all call them, the, the little guys, the little tykes that play. Yeah, the, uh, this is the Bears, the little Bears. The little Bears, yeah, y'all you know you support all of that, man, all yeah, of that. For sure. And, and, and some of the little Bears, you know what I mean, they became big Bears, big dogs. Speaking of that, we could talk about the boy Tyler Boyd, man. Was uh, just talk to him. Second round pick of the Bengals, man, that's big. He back in that black, that black and orange, man, so talk I know you going to. Definitely rep him this se this For season sure. and ride Shout down the sense. Bro, T boy. Yeah, I mean it's levels, man. Talk to him, bro. Definitely proud of him. Definitely proud of him. He gave the city hope with that one. He definitely not, not only not only did um was was Tyler the only one from our um from, no, from our city. No, no, from Clad. Oh okay. had cousin, Trent Coles. He uh he didn't get drafted. But uh, he got, got picked, picked up, up by the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, so he's going to go in the camp with that chip on his shoulder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
for sure. Got something to prove. He got a, he, he got a lot of talent, and he and he be looking out for him too. What's his name, Trent? Trent Cole. Okay, what's his position? He played D back. All right, definitely. I yeah, definitely have D-back. to have to keep intact with him. You know what I mean? Make sure, man. But back, but back to the music, man. You you do a lot for the community of Claire, man. Been doing a, a, a lot of good stuff for the community. But back to the to the music, man. Tell us about. You say you got couple projects lined up so you definitely be working you know what I'm saying you got you got a single you about to start running around here with that all alone me explain us to a little bit about that the all alone me and, and the mixtapes and stuff you got in store well uh, uh, I got about three mixtapes done right now but uh I was I was pretty much trying to get a lot of visuals and all that stuff done before I was releasing a lot of music that that's what came in touch with the, the, the documentary and all that. I've been shot the documentary. If you seen that, if you seen we was at Hasville, so that was all the way yeah, back, in, back like, in November. Like, yeah. So yeah, yeah I've been year. shot that. I've been had that done. But uh, I've been doing other projects along with that. So um, in the midst of me doing a project, I got a uh, I got another project with a, with a lot of the younger cats. From around Pittsburgh, is doing music. All the younger guys is getting it, getting down. Yeah, got, gotta tip. show love, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Show them so, the way, you know what I mean? Yeah, in the midst of me doing that, I I, I was doing a, a a song with uh with Raw Dog, and we got in the, we got in the booth, and we clicked so we clicked so good, and the vibe, everything was good that we just kept going. We went from one song to two songs to a project. You feel me? We just kept it moving. Vibe, vibe. Yeah, we just kept it moving. We did a whole mixtape in a week, man. It could have been in a couple of days, for real. But both of us just running around doing other things too. But we ended up finishing all tape in a week. Shout out to Slick the Flair. He Slick. Pro- he produced everything on there mostly. Yeah, Slick be working, man. He, he be Slick working. Slick is man. a young. Hungry cat, man. Yeah, I see. Get a hungry. I seen you in the documentary at your crib eating up all your uh, food, man. Literally, too. <laughs> literally, too. Yeah, yeah. In the crib eating all the snacks. That's man. what you do. Even when I go to his crib, he eating all my food. <laughs> so, you know, Slick, man. Yeah, he definitely out to Slick with flair, he Definitely one of the one of the producers in the city moving around, man. Slick. He said, forget this, man. I'm hitting South by Southwest. I'm hitting AC3. Yeah, you know what I mean? Slick he young, man. He, only, he just turned 21. And he just be just real hungry. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. That's, that's what it takes, man. Don't be the cats that make it, man. Young for and hungry. For real. For sure. He, he, he the first person that I ever know to bring the studio to you. Yeah. You feel me? Before he even had his own little spot or whatever. He would bring his, he would come to you. Jumping his ride, <laughs> he got everything in his trunk. He set up the studio ready right out. So Damn. that was the that was the main reason why I started really rocking with Slick. He was so convenient and so so hungry, man. That you had to respect it. You feel me? Got to man. Always got to respect a cat trying to do it, man. He definitely he definitely do a lot, man. Like I said, he running all around the country, you know what I mean, trying to get beats to different people. And he booming online selling the beats as well, man. So with him being your, you know, your hometown, your home team producer, I know you always he keep you to work. That's why you got three mixtapes done. You know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah, he, <laughs> he gonna call you. He gonna call you to make music when you you ain't even thinking about it. You you on some more other relaxing, chilling, or doing whatever. Slick calling you. Hey man, listen. Let's Come on, in. man. Let's work. Hey, let's work. You need somebody like that to to push you, man. Cause he. Definitely, it's like you say, sometimes you might not even be thinking about doing it. He hits you, like, you know what I mean? He gets you back in your bag. So it's always good to have them type of cats around all the time, man. So, uh, what I want to do, we're going to get into some more music at that new P. Dolo. So y'all don't go nowhere. Y'all already know what it is. This is the Lunch Break 92.1. So they notice me They Gucci be all over me Louis be all over me Designer be all over me My money was perfect These bitches all over me Yeah, bitches all over me These bitches is all over me I'm icy so they notice me I got big dips in the book bag Hit the same licks that I've been had Can't cop for me, that's why you look mad Little dirty nigga, dog, you look bad I ride around with the weapon on me Hitting licks with your steppies on I'm a VIP when I'm in the club This is too much to be stepping on I keep a goon in the front seat In case a nigga try to slump me I just tell the plug I got my 
got friends. Yeah, got These young friends. niggas always wanna be fed to ask them like, y'all wanna eat? No nigga, you just send away, get on the sidewalk, get out the fucking street. Fuck you call me about big shit, big plays, nigga, big legs. Every night is like Valentine, every day is like Christmas. I walk around with big dough, I ice thought I got big gold. I ain't sweating no bitch though, never had to, I got big hoes. 